Welcome to Tripping Over 60. We're Jim and Linda Ryan, a couple of baby boomers who've caught the travel bug. Come with us on our adventure as we move to Vilka Haslau, Germany to begin a new life and a new dream. Back in Ritter Goot's heyday, the house had a large opening into the formal parlor. During the DDR days, the opening was closed off and replaced with standard sized doors. So first things first, Jim removed a piece of the wall to make room for the header, as you've seen him do in previous episodes. Once our daughter and son-in-law arrived, we had our official work crew and lost no time in getting dirty. Kanishka used the chipping hammer to remove the soft plaster covering the brick, although Amanda was stuck using the old school hammer. They still found a certain American Gothic experience to it. As Kanishka finished up, Jim prepared to insert the header, while Amanda cleaned the scores of brick that were coming from the wall. The final step to open the space was to remove the old door frame. Then, voila! Daylight! As you can see, returning Rittergut to her original glory is messy but well worth it. Recycling some old door frames, Jim was able to create the new threshold that would encase the doors, which we brought with us from the U.S. By custom sizing the frame, we were able to save a lot of money. I got to work on priming and painting the frame while Fritzy supervised as usual. Once the threshold was placed in the opening, we stabilized it while adding the hinges and cutting out a little more of the plaster to make room for the frame. I sanded and stained the doors and they were finally ready to go up. With a few little adjustments and the final frame pieces installed, the doors were finally ready. Just a little touch-up paint and the all-important door handles and we were all set. Martin and Suzanne moved to our village from New Zealand and we became fast friends. They were great travel partners to Dresden and even better dinner guests for cheap night-in pizza nights. Best of all, they were always good sports when we filmed for Trippin' Over 60. Before they returned home, we took them to the local Christmas markets. Well, here we are. It's Christmas again, 2013. And we're with our friends Suzanne and Martin who are visiting from New Zealand. This is really different for them. Tell me, ma'am, is this your first Weihnachtsmarkt? Yes, it's my first Weihnachtsmarkt. It's very exciting. Christmas markets are always known for their tasty specialties, so Suzanne and Martin opted for a Dresdener handbrot. Jim stuck to his favorite, bratwurst. Ah, uh, there's nothing like hot food on a cold night with friends. Our other favorite Christmas market activity, checking out all the other yummy foods like Liebkuchen, roasted nuts, and smoked sausage. Mmm. Next we headed up to Dresden, one of our most favorite Christmas markets because of its size and neat decorations. Okay, now that we're all here in Dresden, what are you going to do? 
We're going to the Christmas market. Yay! <laughs> in fact, we were in Dresden during the prepping stage of the Christmas market three weeks earlier. Just look at all the work that goes into putting up a Christmas tree. The Dresden Christmas market is quite large with decorations galore. Your standard knick-knack temptations and lots to eat. Here Suzanne and Martin made sure to try longos and roasted chestnuts for the first time. Washed down with some tasty glue vine, of course. They also purchased Stolen, a traditional German Christmas dessert. Stolen, yeah. ah. They have, they have just bought their first Stolen. We are in the middle of the Christmas market and behind us is the big tree that we saw being raised to start the whole thing off about three weeks ago. Tell me, are you having a good time? We're having a great yes, time. Good time. Good we don't time. want to leave Germany now. Well, there you go. Fantastic. And then it was time to say farewell to our friends. I'm sure going to miss them. Yeah, me too. wonder if everyone in New Zealand is as nice as they are. I'd sure like to think so. Me too. Our final Christmas market this year was in the nearby village of Schwarzenberg, where we partook of our usual agenda of snacking and window shopping, but this time without Suzanne and Martin. This year, we also chose to buy ourselves a little souvenir, and we got this interesting pair of smokers, very traditional to the Erzgeberg area. We will take them out every Christmas and light them with little incense and remember fondly that Christmas in Schwarzenberg. Great. Schwarzenberg okay. is known for its wood carvings. <laughs> this year, we're buying some. Okay. Merry Christmas. We hope you've enjoyed seeing more of our projects at Rittergut and meeting our friends Martin and Suzanne. Join us next time for more restoration on Rittergut and a big surprise. Till then, we're tripping over 60. <laughs>